Oregon, Mr. Bentz. Mr. Speaker, I ask unanimous consent that all members have may have five legislative days in which to revise and extend their remarks and to insert extraneous material on H.R. 6679. Without objection. I yield myself such time as I may consume. The gentleman is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. On October 7, 2023, Hamas initiated its brutal, unprovoked terrorist attack on Israel, the deadliest terrorist attack since the State of Israel was formed. There's no place in the United States for people who commit such acts. H.R. 6679, the No Immigration Benefits for Hamas Terrorist Act, ensures that aliens who carried out, participated in, planned, financed, provided material support to, or otherwise facilitated the attacks on the Israeli people that started on October 7th are inadmissible to and removable from the United States. It also makes such aliens ineligible for any immigration relief. Legislation like this is increasingly important because we have an executive who has implemented policies specifically designed to allow bad actors into the United States and to let them stay here. The Biden administration's policies have thrown every facet of our immigration system into chaos. Since President Biden took office, more than 7 million illegal aliens have been encountered on our southwest border. We are on track to reach 12 million by the end of President Biden's term. More than 3.3 million have been deliberately released into the United States. Another, point one, another more than 1.7 million known getaways, gotaways successfully evaded Border Patrol agents to enter the country. Thanks to the Biden administration's open border policies, the immigration court backlog has ballooned to over 2.5 million cases. In addition, arrests of criminal aliens have dropped exponentially. What does all of this mean? Illegal aliens do not face swift immigration consequences. Open border policies present grave national security risks for our country and the world. The FBI director warned the Judiciary Committee that the open border constitutes a massive security threat. Post-October 7th, Germany, Belgium, and France have already seen lone wolf terrorist attacks inspired by the Hamas attack on Israel. Foreign nationals exploit U.S. immigration laws and policy to do us harm. We learned that lesson on September 11, 2001. Since October 7th, here in the United States, at least one foreign national has already been arrested for plotting an attack against Houston's Jewish community, a Jordanian national who had overstayed his visa several years ago, but then applied for asylum and was issued a work authorization by the Biden administration. And just this week, we learned that last March, the Biden administration released an al-Shabaab terrorist into the United States. It is not far-fetched to think that October 7th terrorists would try to come here. It is imperative that Congress ensures that such bad actors will find no refuge in the United States. H.R. 6679 does just that. I urge my colleagues to support the bill, and I reserve the balance of my time. The gentleman from Oregon reserves. The gentleman from New York is recognized. Mr. Speaker, I yield myself such time as I may consume. Gentlemen's recognized. Mr. Speaker, on October 7th, 